Well, here we go again. We're doing the inky list. These are all the products right here. I honestly, my expectations are so beyond low now. If you're new, my name is Brittany. I am 23 years old and I struggle with acne. It's technically not adult acne because adult acne is considered in your 30s, but I am an adult with acne, so. So the Inky List has a recipe builder on their site and genuinely it made me curious because if they're willing to put together a recipe for me, it makes me think that they believe that they have some sort of standard that they can achieve these things that you have asked for. So that is why we're gonna give it a go. Basically you just fill out this quick questionnaire, very, very easy. Um, and I made sure that mine was very acne focused because that is my concern. And these are the products that we ended up with. So I have the salicylic acid cleanser, which I have heard is really great for acne prone skin. We will see. I will say I was actually shocked by the size of the bottles. This is honestly, very small to me but the bottle is wide but then i also have to consider the price point that like each of these items was only like ten dollars next in the routine is the hyaluronic acid again very tiny if you compare the salicylic acid cleanser and the hyaluronic acid very very tiny so i have to think about using a very sparing amount because i really don't know how long it's meant to last for follow that with beta hydroxy acid Hopefully I'm saying that right. Next is the succinic acid acne treatment. We have the multibiotic moisturizer, which it has a little something on it, but seems fine to me. And then the rose hip oil. This one was also about $60. That's how much I pay for all these products. And I did not get the SPF, even though it recommended it because I have my own SPFs that I like, so. I'll also be taking photos and videos of my skin before and after. Um, I just feel like you need photos and videos to see the full results, um, but hopefully we'll be able to tell a difference and that I will be happy with my skin. So everyone, here is my skin to start on this journey. As you can see, I have a lot going on the cheek, in the corner there, and a little bit on the chin. Honestly, those are my biggest problem areas. My forehead really isn't an issue. And here are the images of my side profiles. As you can see, the one cheek is pretty bad and this is left over from using Curology. First impressions of the products this morning. I honestly found that everything was really gentle. The salicylic acid cleanser foamed up right away really nicely, felt really, really gentle on the skin. The hyaluronic acid also went on really nice. I don't know what I was expecting these products to be. Um, but it was just a clear liquid and I did a little patting technique. I, you definitely need to be very careful to make sure a lot does not come out. Um, the beta hydroxy acid, I read online that you should focus on your problem areas. So that's where I focused more of them. Along with the succinic acid acne treatment, honestly, this product sounded like, based on what I read, is that this one should really focus on the really, really bad blemishes. It comes out a little green. This is the only product that stung a little bit, and I think it only stung because I had just popped the pimple right before. No judgments, I did pop it. I also used the multibiotic moisturizer. Obviously, I used all the products in the routine. I felt like the moisturizer, did a good job. I would like it to be a little more hydrating just because overall my skin did not feel the most hydrated that it's ever been after using all the products. Um, but I'm, I'm just open to seeing where this goes. And then the rosehip oil is the only one that gets used at night. It has been one week using Inky List. Um, Honestly, I think the first week is really no judge of anything. I'm not going to judge anything based on the first week. Um, everything you kind of see going on right now is all in like the healing stages. I will say this area right here, I will blame more so on me. There was a pimple, a cyst pimple, probably the worst pimple I've ever had in my life, form right before I started using the Inky List products and it purged itself we're in the healing now thank god and then all these little dots right here are all in the healing everything is in the healing i currently don't have any fresh pimples to say the least um that doesn't mean any fresh ones won't pop up but this is where we're at right now 
so not disappointed but i also wasn't expecting anything so i am okay with this uh see you guys in a week good morning oh <clears throat> that was the first time i spoke today good morning guys new hair hopefully you can tell because i paid a lot of money for it time for a week to update um <clears throat> oh my gosh sorry guys i really just need to clean my throat for a second there so for being week two, I'm I'm uh, I'm genuinely happy for the results that I'm seeing right now. Um, I am still getting a few little marks, and stuff is still really really healing. It's not that I'm not still getting new pimples, but like they're very very tiny, and I'm not feeling like I don't feel confident in my skin. Like I would feel more confident if my skin was clear, but like we're moving in. The right direction i hate to compare to my previous one but when i did curology and i was at week two i i still felt like i was really really struggling whereas here i feel like i'm seeing improvements we're making progress we're heading in the right direction so that's the week two update so this is the status of my skin right now i don't really feel like it looks too bad other than one really bad mark right here and very few bad marks right here i also have i don't know if you can see I have a pimple patch on right now. Love. I held off for a bit because I was hoping to come with you guys and say, I cleared my acne, it's gone. I didn't. This is an inky list review and while my acne was not cleared, I still think the inky list is a great brand and I think it is a great starter brand for so many people. Um, and I will explain why. <laughs> And I honestly am not mad about it because I still do feel like I saw skin improvements which was really Im important to me and it's just learning how to manage my skin better because honestly when I miss days is when my skin really freaks out and I definitely have decided I need to go to a dermatologist um, but I still think Inculus is good. Okay, I finally will say why. Recipe Builder I think was great because it even as much as I think I knew about skincare, it finally taught me like what an actual routine should be and why these products are in this order and why you use them. Like it was actually informational and helpful and I highly recommend and advise that part to other people. Even if you don't buy the inky list, it will help you understand kind of the order of products and everything. Keep in mind that I do have a slight ring light on and that is only because it is a super rainy day. So I just want you guys to be able to see the skin as close as possible. Keep in mind with slightly different lighting, I will say you can definitely see improvements. While the chin isn't better, the chin is a stress breakout, but I do feel like my overall skin appears just look better, especially in this photo. You can really tell that there's just a lot of improvements and I'm getting less breakouts overall. I'll be honest, the worst part of my face is right here, which is not normal for me. I just got a few bad breakouts, I think truly, genuinely from stress. It is what it is. This cheek, really not that bad. Just some acne scarring. And then here as well, this was the only active pimple from like a day or two ago. The rest is all scarring. My biggest issue is scarring. If anyone has product recommendations for scarring, please leave them below. I'm going to go through the products, um, starting with my least favorite to my favorite, just so you guys can get a sense of what I kind of liked here. Least favorite has to be the moisturizer, hands down, the multibiotic, and it is solely for the purpose that it smells like freaking garbage. <laughs> I, even the reviews like on websites say that it smells like sewage, which I don't know if I could go that far to say that, but yeah, I mean, while it did leave me with like a nice even skin tone, I do feel like there are other moisturizers that do that also at an affordable price point. I mean, the smell was just difficult. I mean, I finished it off, but like it, it was really, really difficult because I was doing it for the sake of the video. It was a good product, but the smell just, just really, really makes it unbearable, which is why it's at the bottom and I won't be repurchasing this. In terms of like middle tier products, we have the hyaluronic acid and the beta hydroxy acid long for BHA. 
didn't know that when I first started this. And the reason that they're only middle tier is they worked, they were good, but I have found other versions of hyaluronic acid and BHA that I like better. These were just great introductories to help me understand what a skincare routine should really look like. I gotta be honest, before this video, before Curology, I was I was genuinely really winging it. I was just trying whatever was trendy. Um, didn't work for me, so now that i understand these two these i the thing that i love about these is the size because these will be great for travel purposes and i know that if i find a product that i absolutely end up hating i always can go back to these because i know that they worked well with my skin and they last a really long time i use these for a month straight and there's still product in them so for the price point for the size for the long lasting i think is really good but there are just other products now that i want to use and these just didn't make the cut but they were still good not bad just not good enough which sounds really really mean because Again, there was absolutely nothing wrong with these products um, and I will use them in the future again They're not going away. They're not going in the trash or anything, but just not a continued staple in my routine Another tear up. I feel you guys definitely can't tell by the bottles because they all look the same But this is the rosehip oil. I actually really like this. I tried to use the rosehip oil by the ordinary I don't know if it's because I didn't understand what I was doing, but I didn't like that one I ended up throwing it out because I just felt like it just did not work right. This one I like. This is the last step in the skincare routine that you put on you super greasy at night before you go to sleep. Yeah, that that's this boy. Um, it's supposed to improve skin texture and I definitely think that it did. My skin, honestly, like, and it's because I pick at my skin, I'm really, really bad at that, that my texture gets really bad. This one? This helps just enough to make me feel like that my texture is definitely improving. I do, I'm just checking right now, I do still have a little bit of texture, but overall I'm more happy with my texture. I will say that I use this almost every night. There are a couple nights that I do miss, but my skin does not do bad things when I use this or if I don't use this. So it, it makes me feel good when I use this product. And the products that really took me by surprise and are probably my holy grails that I will be continuing to use, actually, I will definitely be using, is the Salicylic Acid Cleanser. This, this is amazing. I find cleansers that are meant for acne honestly dry me out, which is crazy because I dry it, get dried out, but I'm still getting acne. It, it, it's such an unfun combination that I deal with. Um, but this one, I do feel like fights my acne and doesn't dry me out, which is good. I don't know if it's because I'm incorporating things like the rosehip oil that are really helping me, but this is a staple. Again, this is like not the biggest size bottle, but I've been using it for over a month. I think it will probably last me until, I think this is like a good two month product. And for the price that you pay for this to last two months, I think is really, really good. And then the other one is the Sicinic Acid Acne Treatment. This is probably the best acne product that I've ever found in my freaking life. I. Genuinely, genuinely, I don't feel like I'm overhyping this. This one really targets pimples. I hate to say that even still, I still pop my pimples. It's a very, very, very hard habit to break. Um, but when I put this product on, I feel it working. It does a little tingle sometimes, not all the time, but this product makes a freaking difference and I, I love it, I'm obsessed with it. I couldn't be happier with both of these. They really have changed my life. So my final review of the Inky List, did it clear my acne? No. Am I very happy with the brand? Will I make future purchases? Would I recommend this to other people? 100%. Yes, I think it's a great brand doing what it's doing at their price point. Like literally other brands are scamming us, let's be honest, but just, I just think that they do make a real difference and they're a great first like step in teaching people about products and how to use them and what's the right way and the right order and everything like 
this actually did help make a difference in like me understanding skincare. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know and I will do future skincare testing products videos. If you have any recommendations, leave them down below. I will do them um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.